Now, this is a very important relation. So, if I ask you what minus n k sum over i rho epsilon i where rho is the probability which we have de uh, defined before rho ln rho. So, what does this expression uh, correlate to? How this expression or what uh, this expression relate to uh, what thermodynamic quantity? And uh, as I had defined before, rho uh, again uh, to remind you that um, this capital N and small n they are the same thing and they are the total number of particles. Uh, rho uh, Ei uh, is the probability which uh, I had uh, defined before uh, is n by uh, n i by n and therefore, it is minus e to the power minus beta epsilon i by q. So, probability is nothing but n i by n number of particles in i state divided by total number of particles and from Boltzmann distribution law n i by n is nothing but e to the power minus beta epsilon i divided by the partition function. So, that is the probability. So, now, now the question is uh, what this expression uh, uh, what thermodynamic quantity this particular expression uh, relates to. Let us find out. So, minus n k we put it up, we put up rho e i as it is and now we are uh, replacing this rho e i with this expression which is e to the power minus beta epsilon i divided by q. If we simplify, we get n k ln q we can. Uh, so, so, this ln q if we bring out here, so that minus and this minus becomes plus a n k ln q uh, sum over rho epsilon i and that is kind of the second term we written first and the other term uh, here. So, ln e to the power minus beta epsilon i is nothing but beta epsilon i. So, that minus beta and uh, n k we write as b n k sum over uh, epsilon i rho epsilon i. Again, so here, so minus n k sum over rho ln e to the minus beta epsilon i by q. So, I am just writing this term first. So, ln 1 by q uh, comes out uh, with a negative sign and that negative with this negative becomes a positive n k uh, ln q and we had this term rho e i plus uh, this term ln e to the power minus beta epsilon i is nothing but beta epsilon i. So, that beta comes out of the sum beta n k and uh, inside the sum we have epsilon this epsilon i uh, with rho epsilon i. Now, sum over rho epsilon i is nothing but 1 because total probability is 1. So, therefore, we get n k ln q uh, plus uh, n k beta is 1 by k t sum over epsilon i uh, again rho e i as you know it is nothing but n i by n as I said n i by. So, now I am I defined total number of particle as n. So, again n k ln q 
plus this k this k goes off so you have uh, n by uh, uh, sorry you have n by t and this n comes out 1 by n and sum over n i epsilon i is nothing but the total energy so you get n k I'm sorry you get n k long q plus this n this n goes and this is total energy so you get e by t and so if you remember this expression n k ln q plus e by t is nothing but the entropy so therefore we write s is equal to minus n k sum over rho ln rho rho i rho i so now you look at here so this is a probability so probability is always less than 1 therefore this quantity the whole quantity will be positive and that is the second law of thermodynamics since probability is always less than 1 so total quantity in the right hand side will become positive and that implies that entropy of the system always increase and that is nothing but the <coughs> second law of thermodynamics okay so we got uh, entropy is equal to minus n k sum over rho i ln rho i now rho i is the probability which is always less than 1 and if rho i is always less than 1 what will be your entropy s yes, entropy will be positive and that is the second law of thermodynamics That's the second law of thermodynamics uh, that entropy of the system or randomness of the system uh, increases so again as you see that uh, the probability is again a microscopic quantity can also explain um, the uh, thermodynamic uh, laws the basic thermodynamic laws <coughs>